Welcome to this week's episode of Discover Down Under. With over 700 kilometres of coastline to explore, the York Peninsula in South Australia is known as a haven for caravanners and campers. That's why we're here, Tim. Yeah, to True Brook. There's more than just the amazing beaches. This place is also known as the Copper Coast, and I think I'll take a tour of the old mines. Well, there's a top, top tourist park there as well. You should check that out. I will, but what are you going to do? Well, I'm going to ride an underwater horsey. You're going to what? I know, it's a bit of a secret. <laughs> Giddy up, Tim. Well, Brookie, let's go. <laughs> The York Peninsula sits to the west of Adelaide and separates the Gulf of St Vincent and the Spencer Gulf. With so much to see and discover, we've got to move quick. First stop, Munta, the perfect spot for Brooke to find out about the history of Cornish miners in Australia. Sure, the museum and sweet shop would be enough to get me in, but it's the train ride to a former mining operation that has Brooke pounding the pavement. I'm running a bit late. I've got to make the train or I'm going to miss the tour. Oh, no. <laughs> Wait for me. <gasps> oh, I made it. Oh. Good work, Brookie. At the controls of the narrow gauge rail train is local volunteer, Jeff Robertson. Now, Jeff, you're a volunteer. You must love it. I do. It's the best job I've ever had in my life, bro. <laughs> the Muntermines Rail Tour takes visitors past and through many of the sites which played an important role in Munter's history as a major copper-producing centre. Of course, if you hop on the train, you, you learn a lot about the mines yeah. themselves. Well, see, it's the um, largest mine in Australia in its time. And the area we travelled over was one-sixth of the actual area of the Muta Mines. And we still believe it is the richest mine in Australia today. You must have a lot of caravanners and campers come through, hop on the train. We do. We have, a, we have a trip every Wednesday at 2 o'clock, and that's designed for the grey nomads. When you're not volunteering, you love caravanning and camping yourself. Yes, yes. So, uh, have you got a caravan? Oh, my word. We, um, we travel north every winter yep. to get away because the... Because uh... it's cold. While some caravanners like to follow the sun, the owners at the Edithburg Caravan Park followed their hearts and ended up in paradise. Did you fall in love with the park? Did you visit it first? We did, and we absolutely fell in love with it. This is absolutely stunning. What are we looking at behind you? We've got, like, land right off in the distance. That's... Truebridge Lighthouse. Yeah. And Truebridge Island, which is a conservation park. And you can take trips out there, and it's got penguins and birds nesting all over the island. Mm. And it's actually still got the original lighthouse on it and for accommodation. Oh. It, that's magnificent. Beautiful, it's absolutely beautiful. fantastic. So, guys, for you, what are the best features of, of the park? I guess it's really spacious, which mm. means that we can fit the larger caravans and the fifth wheelers in here, no problems at all. Mm. Um, our amenities block has just been upgraded, so we've got an absolute beautiful amenities. The park is green. We've got oh, luscious so green lawns that they can actually yeah. put their tents on if they want to camp. Oh, and you've got great camping sites right on the, on the cliff. Absolutely. We've got lovely drive-through sites mm. that um, if people are having trouble with their backing in, they can still drive through. And if you've got kids, bring them along and they can feed the pelicans at dusk. Oh, they'll love feeding the pelicans. And the pelicans love being and fed. And the pelicans <laughs> will be waiting for them. <laughs> because apparently their beak can hold more than their belly can. <laughs> <laughs> it's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. But it, and it is a secret, but the secret has got out that the uh, Edith Bird Caravan Park is such a beautiful jewel on the York Peninsula. And that's why you're not going to get in at Christmas. <laughs> you're too, if you're looking at this, you are, uh, it, your heart is breaking because you're not going to, but you would certainly ring up and try. Absolutely. Oh, Except you everybody. You yeah, bet. Absolutely. 
How good is it here? Have you been here before? Yeah, yeah we, we have, have actually. It's, uh, it's very nice. It's probably yes. one of the better parks, down parks on, the, on, the, on, on the peninsula. On the peninsula, yeah. Because this is the first time for us on the peninsula. Normally we've sort of skipped over it and gone through Wyala and down to sort of Coffin Bay. And no, it's a beautiful part of South Australia, that's for sure. Come on, Tim. Tell me one more time, how much do you love it? Time to put your money where your mouth is. I always say this, but please don't take our word for it because we truly are biased. You, <laughs> you, you should come and check it out for yourself. And I'll tell you what, I personally will give you half your money back if you don't love it. Well, I won't really, but it sounded good. <laughs> oh, no, you two like looked at each other and just went, I hope he's not including us in this. this, this another harebrained scheme you've got us into. <laughs>